Hello everybody, I want to do a quick review on this Harbor Freight item. This is item number 38896. They're calling it a magnifier head strap with lights, but it's basically an optivizer. Now, I've had this for quite some time now, and I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm going to give my pros and cons on it as I see it. But for the money, you know, they're on sale for $3.99 right now, and if you'd apply to 25% off coupon, you can get this for $2.99 plus tax out the door not too shabby but they claim to have four magnifications on it and they do there's a monocle loop here so with it in this orientation it's supposed to be 1.8 times bring in this one bring out to 2.3 take this out bring this in on the hinge clip that down you should be at 3.7 times and then bring this back in and you would be at 4.8 times I I use this one quite a bit but you've got to close one eye because it's mono and not stereo surprisingly enough these acrylic lenses in it are pretty pretty clean I was really impressed with the clarity of them now the focal length on how close you need to be using each of these magnifications I measured mine from this bridge right here out to my finger down a ruler and I think I could use some reading glasses but I'm just going to tell you what they are for me at the 1.8 I'm at 6 inches at the 2.3 I'm at 2 inches at 3.7 I'm at 3.5 inches and at 4.8 I'm at 1 and 3 quarter inches so depending on how much magnification you need is how close you need to be to something so you might keep that in mind now like I said this is only three bucks it also has two lights on it they're pretty much useless it takes four AA batteries there's a switch on the side right here that turns the lights on and off the covers fall off half the time they don't stay on very well you've got a little bit I've loosened up the screws right in here You've got a little bit of vertical movement where you can aim the lights up and down, but you have absolutely zero side to side. So if you're working within one and three quarter inches, you can really only see out six inches with the lights. So when you go to different magnifications, they're pretty much shooting past what you're trying to look at. So it also makes it quite heavy here. Uh, I've noticed that over time, the hinges on mine, there's no adjustment on them. They're just like riveted together. They started loosening up and it wanted to fall under its own weight. So I just stick it down on a wood block, come back in here with a chisel, I'm not a chisel, a punch, and just set that a little tighter and that seems to help that. It's got Velcro, get it adjusted, it's okay. A little bit uncomfortable, there's a plastic strip around here. Uh, it's got a little sharp edge on it, so sometimes it wants to kind of cut into your forehead or whatnot, but you could wrap something around there, maybe a piece of tape or a piece of foam, and it'd do the job. Now, I can't speak on eye strain and stuff like that with using these because I don't really use them for hours on end, like maybe a modeler would or some other type of a hobbyist. You know, I, I put them on just to see things, maybe wear them five, ten minutes at a time, and they've never really hurt my eyes. But... You can see I take that tray right off there. I'm going to discard these on mine. They don't work anyway. But I do think for the money, it's not a bad deal. Uh, you can always buy an actual Dunnigan Optivisor if you want. But just looking at the cost of one of those, uh, they have static lenses in them too, by the way. And I think you can buy a, a monocular piece you could put on it. But they're, uh, you know, 30 Around, around $40 or so and you can select different powers let's say a 3.5 power they claim it to have a focal length of 4 inches 3.7 on this one 3.5 inches so that's pretty comparable that's providing these Harbor Freight uh, numbers are actually correct but if I need to see anything tighter I have a couple of these handheld loops and I'll actually use it like a monocle. I'll pinch it in my eye. This is a 5 and a 10. You know, they're pretty cheap to pick up. A couple bucks. And then I've got a little little one that they slide out. I can't get to it right now. It goes up to a 20 times magnification. But for digging out splinters, little pieces of steel, and looking at things in a finer detail, I don't think these are bad for the money. 
I wouldn't hesitate to pick them up for the cost especially uh, you know you may have to do a little bit of working on them here and there to tighten them up I say discard these things that I'm taking off right now I just hadn't done it yet so that makes it a lot a lot lighter and that'll help on your forehead uh, another thing that I will note is depending on the shape of your head this doesn't scrape me all the time but sometimes it gets caught on my head right here when I'm raising it up uh, it's not been a problem for me because I don't really flip them up and down all that much but uh, if you guys were to pick one of these up you might even consider hacking some of this plastic away right here to give yourself more room for your forehead but all in all you know like I said for the price you can't really complain optics seem to be fairly decent for acrylics and uh, I like them so thanks for watching guys and good luck